Yeah, everyone, Bailey here from Gold Coast Boating Center. Today, I want to show you a beautiful 635 Formosa Center cabin that has just come through our dealership. This customer's optioned out some great features and great options that he selected on there. Let's go have a quick look now. This is a Formosa 635 Center cabin. He's painted it in a two-tone coloration in a black and a graphite gray. A very striking, stunning color combo. Very mean looking, very stealthy as well. You've also noticed we've got the uh, stone deflector guards on the front of the trailer here as well. Uh, hydraulic brake trailer from W here, tandem axle, loader pro, so full drive on. He's also got the latch system up in the front there as well for full uh, lock and uh, catching and releasing. You can do all that from the front of the trailer. Spare wheels on there as well for these nice uh, stone guard deflectors to keep uh, rocks and other chips from uh, traveling and hitting the paint while underway on the highway. Mag wheel upgrade on there as well. But coming around, what I really like about this one, and they're just stunning when we do see these Formosas come through, is these casting cages on the back here. So we've got the extended duck boards on the back, just creating so much more room at the back of the boat, so much more usability and you feel safe and protected inside these big casting cages as well. So if you're out at sea, it's rough. There's plenty of grab points on here. It's like a big shark cage on there as well. So there's no, no sharks that are gonna come up and grab you on the foot. You're nice and protected, tucked away inside there. You've also got the one on this side as well, which transforms into the ladder. So it does fold down and get, then goes back up, tucks itself away nice and easily. Powering this one is the Yamaha 200 four stroke great motor to have on this one so you got everything electric start trim and tilt mechanical controls on that one so we're going to jump up through the back here now but yeah we've got the extended duck boards on here usually they're not this far they're about usually to this sort of line here but very nice having the extended um, duck board on the back for more space and it just feels nice uh, you can obviously cast a rod out the back here, but it's just nice to have that extra space um, when you are fishing at the back. Coming onto the back of the boat now, we'll start out. We've obviously got, this customer's gone for uh, twin transom doors. So you've got multiple walkthrough areas and obviously it works well with the casting cages at the back there. So walk through on that side to the cage, walk through on that side to the cage as well. Bait board with bait tank from Formosa. So we've got the, um, the cutting station up the top there, another spot for uh, lures, um, other bits and pieces, knives and that, and four rod holders along the back standard. Opening it up. Again, some other great storage area for other lures, hooks, um, sinkers, all that. And we've also got the live bait tank there with a window on there, so you can see the condition of the bait. And that's all plumbed up through the side there as well. Pushing that back down now. Customers also opted in for a rear folding lounge. So just for that extra space, for if you're taking more passengers on board, another great option just to have one of those on there as well. Inside this hatch here is access to the batteries. Folding that up just locks away nicely. We've also got, the customer has got the wash down kit. So when you're out in the, in the ocean, you can press and hold that and if you're, yeah, if you're filleting fish at the back of the bait station up there, just a nice, queasy, uh, easy way to wash down any blood, guts, scales, whatever comes onto the boat, wash down the sides there too. Customers opted in for some cup holders or another great spot to put some sinkers and um, other bits and pieces which you may need out in the water. Welded rod holders, standard from Formosa 2. And he's got the fuel guard on here as well. So a, a welded piece just to keep the fuel isolated in this area in case there's a spill and not running down anywhere down the side decks. It's definitely upgraded a few more rod holders on the back here. One, two, three, four, and eight in total. Some more on the roof up there as well. So very nice transom of the Formosa here. He's packaged it out with some great options on there as well. I'm gonna fold these doors up now. Very easy, lock away. Same on this side as well. Under the floor, we've got a removable kill tank under here. 
we open this up hopefully i can do it with one end yes i can removable kill tank this one just drains into the bilge area you can get a pro welded option as well and if you go for a um, welded floor the pro deck uh, that'll be standard on there too so that will drain to the ocean that one this one's removable and you can uh, it just drains into the bilge area use this as an ice um, an esky other storage dry storage if you want towels snacks whatever you want under there that just tucks away like so moving towards the console area now so got some beautiful techni ice eskies under here which fit perfect under the, the Formosa seat boxes on either side driver and passenger so again another just utilizing the storage areas that Formosa can offer with um, these box seats twin seats folding now the driver's area has got a stunning set, uh, setup here we've got the two Garmin 95 SV um, echo maps here so they run together one for charts, one for sonar, or however you want, ever want to run it. We've also got a Fusion RA70, which is hooked up to a twin set of speakers up here that we've designed in-house, this system here. So it tucks away the speakers very nicely up into the top of the, the, um, the, the folding targa itself. Some deck lights off the back, which you can activate onto the gang switch panel. And what I really like on this one is these side curtains that we've done from our trimmers as well. So just to keep a bit more of the cold wind off, off the, especially off the driver on those, on those cold mornings, or if it does, um, the weather turns and it does turn a bit nasty with rain, this just keeps you even more protected without having it as well. So sometimes you can get a bit of a rain or a crosswind which can come through and you can get splashed sometimes. This eliminates that, so it's beautiful. We've also got the front clear across here with the roll-up window too for some good air circulation throughout. What else we got? Got a GX750 VHF radio down there. And here's our gang switch panel. It's got the sav winch, which we'll have a look at in a second as well. Key switch, a few more bits and pieces and a compass, which he's added in as well. Some more sets of speakers down on the side there too, which I've just noticed concealed side mount from Yamaha and the cabin area itself you can option this in with a, a cushion set as well um, so you can fill up with cushions that also comes up and you can store items under there and also another hatch under here so if you ever um, yeah have a need a bit more space there's actually access to the um, to the bilge area below so if you ever need to check on the condition or anything you got nice easy access to the boat under the under the floor there but more storage under here and also through the also through the front there as well sides pockets bits and pieces it's a nice cabin got plenty of nice grab handles on the side there there's a welded handle here as well another one up on the side there so lots of good areas to grab onto underway Again, moving up towards the bow area now. Nice big side pockets on either side of the Formosa center cabin here. And the great thing about center cabs is just that full walk around uh, space that you get. So you're not limited like a, like a half cabin. You can get right to the front of the boat up here. Another beautiful feature of these Formosa center cabs is this front seat. Now, utilizing space for seating is very important. Formosa has done a great job utilizing um, some more cushion area so they've got the front the front seat here so you can sit another couple passengers underway along with the rear one at the back too so lots of spa space for people coming on board another couple rod holders up here which I didn't see before I don't think one two three four but another couple up there electric motor mount standard on this model as well so all ready to go for a Minn Kota or similar uh, electric motor we'll get into this in, in a second as well but this is the bow active ladder from Formosa so great option if you're pulling up onto a beach or if you're doing a snorkel whatever you can drop the ladder down and it's a nice easy access to come back into the boat 
and we've actually this customer's optioned in the put this up the anchor well the hatch lid as well under there we've got the sav winch electric anchor winch under there too nice and tucked away and having the anchor hatch lid on there just keeps it more protected as well from salt water or anything else which can get inside there so nice option to have onto the front there to keep it nice and tucked away and protected there's the sab winch anchor up there too folding bow active ladder great option to have for easy access on and off the boat here's a front view of the cab with the roll up window now another couple handles on the front here too nice bow rails which run all the way around and then down to the side as well so beautifully optioned out this boat another cup holder here as well but he's done a fantastic job optioning out this great boat he's going to have lots of fun on this one just seeing if i've missed anything else but it's done a great job looks amazing and again the casting cages on the back a wonderful finish and just to utilize that rear deck space just want to touch real quick on the Formosa quad four ballast system as well which you can see down the bottom here we've got those four chambers which run about three quarters the length of the boat and these act as big counter counterweights basically so if you're if you're leaning over the side of the boat these will fill up with water at rest <laughs> add a bit more weight to the boat so if you have a couple guys leaning over you're not going to feel that major rock that you can sometimes feel on a boat this uh, definitely helps a lot with the stability and also when you when you take off and you start the plane they drain out straight away as well so it doesn't hold you down at all also see he's got a couple squid lights that we've optioned in at the back there as well very nice finishing touches on there at the transom of the boat again we've got the um, Dumbia Loader Pro trailer so you've got those big skids which run all the way through so if you are facing a bit of current or a bit of crosswind coming back onto the trailer that will line you up perfectly down the middle so you can sometimes if you angle in a little bit funny it'll guide you back into the middle of the trailer drive on up and the lnr lap system at the front which we had a look at before will catch you and away you go from there here's another shot of the bow ladder let's just fold this down So if you're pulling up onto a beach, obviously very high at the moment, but if you pull up onto a beach, this is a great spot to access the front of the boat, get back inside the vessel, instead of trying to go swim through the water at the back or trying to move the whole transom around, nice easy access point through the front. So I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough of this beautiful Formosa 635 Center cabin that we have here at Gold Coast Boating Center. If you are interested in one of these boats, you can give me a call. My mobile is 0406 498 432. More than happy to quote one of these for you, even the same layout if you want that as well. Actually, one last thing I've actually just noticed behind the stone deflector guards here are the Taipan headlights from Formosa as well. Some beautiful LEDs. So if you are doing your night driving, activate on the gang switch panel up there. You'll light up the path in front of you. Just noticed that while I was saying my little outro then. But if you need any more information, give me a call. Visit our website at gcbc.boats.